Our second preliminary bout of the evening will also serve as a heavyweight reserve bout, meaning if one of our tournament fighters is unable to continue into the final tonight, the winner of this preliminary bout will step in. It is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a two-time WAKO World and European Champion. As a professional, nine wins with two losses, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.92 meters, he weighed in at 246.3 pounds, 111.7 kilos. He's here tonight in Rotterdam, fighting out of Serbia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Nikola Birov Filipovic. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, an ISKA European Cruiserweight Champion. His professional record impressive, 45 wins with just seven losses. 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He'll make his glory debut tonight. Standing six feet, four inches tall, 1.96 meters. He went into fight time at an even 242 pounds, 109.8 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Here is Fabio Quasi. The referee in charge of this bout is Jan Frana. Fight rest of the minute. Shake hands, Fluon. Listen my comments. Respect the rules. Good luck. Back to the corners, please. They choose not to touch gloves, Joe. Judges. No comment. Hi. No. They're being <laughs> boys, man. I didn't Fight. expect it. Uh, okay, here we go. Round one. Kwasi with the white gloves, Filipovich with the black. Talking to a lot of Kwasi's training partners, he says he's got this weird, crazy power that could just touch you and put you out. Said he's also very unorthodox. You can just kind of tell by his stance. He's kind of got more of a flow to him. Where Filipovich looks a little more rigid. Yeah, and you're going to see this heavyweight that could adapt well. He's going to move a little bit, pressure when he needs to. Break, step back. Fight! Stop. Stop. Yeah, big Mike, the trainer Fight. of Quasi, said, we told him Thursday morning, hey, you're going to fight in two nights. And he said, Quasi Stop. said, okay, and didn't even ask who his opponent was. Fight. Yeah, you can see, though, even the way Quasi grabs you, the way he knees. But I think that left hook of Filipovic. You can't tell if he's hurt or not, Joe, with that style. And watch out for that left kick as well Stop. from, from Filipovic. Comes in quick, hey. comes fast. <laughs> Going downstairs that time was Kwasi. <laughs> you can even see the stance of Kwasi changing backwards, hey. neutral. Fabio Kwasi, the brother of another glory fighter, Chico Kwasi, who was on our card at Glory 84, victorious. Great talent, too, Chico. Nice knee there from Filipovic. Here comes Fabio Quasi coming back, trying to preferring that inside fighting style with inside punches and knees, where Filipovic probably wants to keep that distance a little bit, box from the outside. Overhand right. Oh, that oh. wobbled him. That wobbled Fabio Quasi. So stepping in on less than two days' notice. And I think Filipovic can tell this may be a good moment for him. Yeah, even for Filipovic, he had three changes of opponents. Originally supposed to, to fight Marat Aigun, who's in the tournament. Big overhand right. Ooh, yeah, Kwasi doesn't quite look right. Filipovic really sitting on that right hand. Under 30 seconds to go here in the first round. Nice body kick from Kwasi. Filipovic looking to counter. Kwasi really mixing his strikes, using his kicks, his knees, his hands. 
Filipovic, to me, staying very patient. I think it'll he'll pick it up as the fight goes on. Fabio Quasi, tournament runner-up at the 2016 K1 World Grand Prix. He said growing up, he didn't want to be a kickboxer, Joe. He wanted to be a WWE wrestler. You were there for a bit. Oh, uh, eight years, man. His opponent from Serbia, nicknamed Biroff Filipovic. Biroff is, uh, I had to ask him, it's an old German football player. Apparently, when he was young, his friends thought he looked like him, so that's how we got it. And he needs to channel his craziness somewhere. He looks like such a nice guy. Hey, you know? speaking of crazy, there he is, Antonio Plazabot, who will be fighting, defending his glory interim heavyweight title next, or in June, rather, against the winner of tonight's four-man heavyweight tournament. Okay, thank you. Second round, fight! Correction there. Antonio is not the interim champion right now. He'll be fighting for that title in June against the winner of tonight's tournament. Quasi coming out a little bit different. You see him in southpaw using his kicks a little bit more. You can see where experience comes when you can mix your weapons like that. But Filipovic needs to put some pressure, be a little bit more busy. Nice start to the round here for Quasi. Stop! Stop! Step back. Two of the judges gave that first round. Fight! to the man who fights out of Mike's gym. I'm a little surprised by that. I mean, I mean, he's coming forward. He's trying to be active. He's pressuring. Stop! 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 Stop holding. Hey. So the fight very much up for grabs here in the second round. And maybe it's the Stop. upper tires, low. Time. I was going to say, maybe the unorthodox Time. style of quasi is giving Filipovic some problems. Knees to the undercarriage region. He'll do that, too. It's a new one for me. It's always a tricky word to use. You got to pick the right word. Listen, comments. No holding. Be careful. Okay? Stay down. Here it comes again. Mm -hmm. Time. Fight. All right. Two minutes to go. Round two, body kick there from Filipovic and overhand Ooh. right blocked. Fabio's getting too, maybe a little too confident now. Calling him on, trying to wake Filipovic up. Stop! No, 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 step back. Hey. Yeah, Filipovic loading up on that right Stop. hand and they both Ooh. go down. That's not legal. There's WWE. Stand up. Fabio! Fabio! Not legal here in kickboxing. Hey. Quasi now southpaw, back to orthodox. Just constantly mixing his stances. Stop, Stop. no clinching. Stop. Step back. Hey. Those left kicks of Quasi might be adding up. Yeah, I tell you what, the right hand of Filipovic is protecting his body. <laughs> Was that a double Stop. punch from Quasi? Step back. I like it. He hit both rib cages at the same time. Left kick. That's unorthodox for you. But yeah, he's. Filipovic is keeping that right elbow down. Maybe he's touching Stop. the liver. Stop! Left kicks to the liver. And Joe, if a fighter's deliberately covering up that area, what do you target next? Well, that's when you go upstairs. You got to mix levels with it. Just like that. The way you get that finish is going upstairs, downstairs, then going back to that liver. Yeah, Filipovic's not doing anything offensively right now. There's the knee if he can land it. Stop! No holding. Yeah, that's not how you no want to clinch with someone throwing knees. You got to keep a nice, strong posture so those knees don't go up to the head. That's the last thing you want. Yeah, Filipovic almost giving this round away at this point with that right arm protecting the rib cage. With Quasi standing flat footed and squared up. Yeah, it's, it's very unorthodox, Stop. and I think no it's elbows. working for him tonight. No elbows. Hey. Well, he's going to win this round. Definitely. Stop. Yeah, you see Filipovic are having a block with his shin and his forearms.
want to say a special thanks to our partner, Fairtex. Make sure and visit Fairtex.com for all of your fight gear needs. Glory 85, 18 minutes away. Let's see how much gas Filipovic has in the tank. Kwasi simply outworked him in round two. And Kwasi looked pretty fresh in the corner too. He wasn't breathing heavily. Seemed like he's fully recovered, ready to go for this third round. And I'm sure neither fighter is thinking about possibly being a fill-in for the heavyweight tournament. But you want to come in with as little damage as possible. Time. No through corner. You know, to me, from this angle, that knee looked like it hit the, the quad area. I don't think it... It's, it's tough because of the jock and Warning. once it's hurt Elbow. before. No more. Warning. Getting worn more for the elbow than the knees. Time. All right, here we go. And Kwasi has to be careful about having a point taken away. That could be very Ooh. detrimental. He <laughs> hit the ref. <laughs> That'll teach him. Look at this unorthodox style from Quasi. Grabs you with one hand, hits you with the other, keeps pressuring forward, switching his hands, stop, knees stop. in the middle, left kicks. Just hard to figure oh, out. Hey. Quasi wants back in, but he ate a right coming in, Joe. Hey, hey, yeah, Philip Popovich to me isn't able to let anything go. I don't know if he's feeling hey. off tonight or it's just Quasi style, really not letting him get his boxing off at all. Oh, oh boy, he walks right into that right hand. Yeah, that echoed in the arena, too. Hey. <laughs> Left hand on the inside Stop. from Kwasi. Stop! Stop! I think it was biting Time. his ear. Stop his stop. No talking. Time. Hey. He may have bitten the ear there. That's at least what Kwasi was saying. Stop! Stay back! Stay back! Fight. So some bad blood brewing here in round three. Yeah, this whole fight's happening all in close range. I don't think they've stayed much more than one foot apart from each other. High kick from Kwasi. Ooh. Left hand from Kwasi. Yeah, a left hook could be good. Filipovic is protecting that right side, Stop. so left hook to the head would be nice too. Fight! I don't know if Quasi has the flexibility to go left kick to the head, but another Big. option. Uh. Couple of jabs, Ooh. and then he, boy, he, he loaded up on that uppercut. Minute to go. Big. You still feel like either guy might catch the other. Knees to the legs from Stop. both. Hey. Oh, nice Stop. knee, and then a takedown. Stand up. And it's getting sloppy in there. Stand up. Time, fight. Yeah, Filipovic really hasn't had a chance to let more than one punch go. After one punch, they're in the clinch. Strikes landed by zone, and then the total quasi is outlanded. Filipovic basically two to one. Stop. Stop. They make no clinch. Fight. Oh, there's final 10 seconds. Oh, here comes Filipovic. He dropped him. And that was a knockdown, and that could change everything. Just as I said, if he put things in combination. Four, five, six, wow. seven, and Filipovic eight. might have won this Come right in. at the death. Time. If a 10 8, though, in this round. I don't want to say it out loud, but. Well, don't say it. 
Because I think your math's going to be a little off because Filipowicz won round one, three to two. Okay. The second round was five to nothing for Kwasi. And then depending on what the judges score this, is it going to be 10 8 across the board? Kwasi may have been winning that round up to that point. You might get a 10 9. We will find out right after this. We welcome you back, Joe. Take us into the highlights. Yeah, it was a very scrappy inside fight where Fabio Quasi got on the inside through good combinations, mixing things up, where Filipovic was really trying to land big hands. But it was a very unorthodox fight. Filipovic, more of the technical style fighter who wants some space to hit. Quasi made it messy. You got to think, Quasi came in five, two, three days notice. So very difficult to prepare for either gentleman. Some good fighting, some good pressure, but at the end, it was that big combination that got the knockdown, which could could do it for Filipovich. So you think maybe if Kwasi didn't go down there with, what, eight, nine seconds left, he probably wins the fight. He still may. We don't know, but here are the total strike counts. Look at this, Joe. Kwasi, 111 out of 163. Filipovich, 67 of 100. Tim Hughes still tabulating the scores. I'm telling you, there's a lot of math to be done on this one. The question will be, did all five judges decide that Filipovic won that third round by a score of 10 to 8? If so, he wins the fight. Yeah, I mean, that's all it comes down to. If that was a 10-8 round, very intrigued. I guess that's why they need to make the extra calculations. Make sure. Can't mess up here. A lot on the line if they can get into the heavyweight tournament. This is the reserve fight. Here comes Tim Hughes. Frustration on the face of Kwasi. He knows what might have been had he not gone down. Here we go. Who is the winner of this heavyweight fight? Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. Two of our judges score this bout even, 28-28. The three remaining judges all have it, 29-27. A majority decision, all for your winner, Nikola Filipovic! Ah! So Filipovic... Winner by majority decision, he's with Joseph. Oh. All right, I'm here with your winner, Nikola Filipovic. Man, tougher fight than you expected. Yes, very tough fight. I didn't expect this. Yeah, he came in very unorthodox. It seemed like you were holding back a little bit till the end. Yes, he have a, a crazy style, you know, so many knee and clinching. So winning this fight, you're a reserve fighter for the heavyweight tournament. What are you going to do backstage to stay ready? I know. I try to be calm and be prepared. All right. Well, congratulations on your glory debut. Let's hear it for Nikola Filipovic.